Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Garage. This is an update for the 3 Whipple. I uh, pretty much had everything all built out, just kind of buttoning up the you know the loose ends, working on the AN fittings, and I'm like, you know, I've, I had to figure out where to put the AAD adapter for the booster pump with the hob switch. You're not supposed to directly do it, like install it on the blower because of vibrations. But I called. Kenny Bell a few years ago and I've got like five of these so you want to yell at me yell at me I don't care I've got these stacked for days so if this one goes bad guess what I got five more behind it so anyway trying to install this we got the blower back together from Nitrous Outlet so we were waiting on the runners had they had them for about six weeks got them back went to install the um, the map sensor and the hob switch or the yeah the AAD adapter here as you can see that there's a hole right here for the, you know, to, to lock them down. But when you turn it, we'll, we'll add a couple of photos to the, to the video and all that good stuff too. But when you turn it, it hits the nitrous outlet, uh, the, the fuel lines. So even if the line wasn't there and you just wanted to use, you know, let's say we had it tapped and we weren't going to use it. You still couldn't get it on because the, the eighth, or the MPT that comes out or whatever that is it still blocks it from being able to swivel to that hole. So as you can see, we have like a little test thing there. I'm gonna be drilling into this expensive supercharger and tapping my own hole. So when I tell you that this is like everything custom, I'm not exaggerating. Never thought that I would be drilling into a 3 Whipple after paying other people to drill into the 3 Whipple. So here we are. This is what we're doing as a quick update. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll be back together soon. Alright guys, so I ran up to O'Reilly and I already had the adjustable tap wrench. What I had to get was the 6.0 6 by 1 inch uh, self-tapping tapper plug tap thinger. So we went over the AAD block, which is for the booster pump and then also the map sensor. If you look above, you'll be able to see the old or existing uh, thread pitch or where the thread the threads are located so what you'll have to do is you'll have to buy this tapping kit take your time um, it, it was a little bit of you know it's nerve-wracking anytime you're drilling into a brand new supercharger right and I've never done that so just take your time. It did take me a minute to get through the metal. You'll want to use the, if you go to O'Reilly and you pick these up in the same section, there's going to be an oil, uh, which I think just helps keep the aluminum cool as you're, as you're drilling through it. Uh, that's it. Just take, take your time and cross your fingers. What I did is when I put the, uh, I put the screw through what that, what that allowed me to do is I used uh, blue Loctite. So hopefully that will help seal that because it is actually going through the runner. So where that main, that factory, where that factory hole is, it's, it's actually has a, a backing to it. So there's no, you don't need to put blue Loctite. I mean, you can, you probably always should, but you don't need to use blue Loctite on that for the purposes of sealing it. When you drill through the runner and you make that your own tap kit or whatever to relocate the bolt hole, you're gonna have to seal that because you're now drilling into an air path. Um, just wanna let you know that, make sure you're safe. Wear eye protection, I didn't. Anyway, hope it helps. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up, holler at your boy.